This selection of instructional videos is intended to be used together with the written service manual. Always keep extra service kits ready and only use the Alpha Laval genuine parts as well as special tools supplied when specified. Remember to take the manual with you so that you can follow the steps. And it contains references such as specifications of different torque values. Stop the machine, switch off and lock the power supply to avoid an accidental start. Before you start any dismantling work, make sure that all rotating parts have come to a complete standstill. By the way, this can take up to 30 minutes. Depending on the size of your separator, there's always a crushing hazard risk, so be sure to wear reinforced steel-tipped footwear. Protective gloves should be worn when handling ball discs, for example, and threads with sharp edges, not to mention machine parts and surfaces that can be very hot and cause burns. Remember to wear safety goggles in case of an accidental release of a snap ring or a spring that might come flying your way. You just can't be too careful. Well, I think we're ready to start a service. Just select what you want to watch next from the menu. Before beginning the dismantling process of the separator, we recommend that you remove the flexible hoses from the connecting housing. But be aware that the flexible hoses can contain hot oil and there may be a risk of a burn. Remove the lock nut. Remove the connecting housing. Remove the spring from the pin on the hood. Remove the arm and its attached spring. Make sure to push the pairing tube inwards to avoid it being damaged during dismantling. Remove the screws securing the hood. Loosen the hood with the screwdriver in the grooves. Lift off the hood and lay it onto the floor. Be sure to protect the pin from any damage. We need to use the compression tool to open the bowl. Fit the clamps onto the bowl. Be sure not to cover the threaded holes. The screws will fit into the sludge holes. Tighten the screws into the clamps. Check the manual for the correct torque value. 